Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my May Owl Crate box here. Um, I'm very excited because this is their first time they're doing stencil edges. So yeah, I'm very excited to see how those look like. So let's go ahead and get this open. Okay, so I finally got it open. So that's how that looked like. So... This month's theme is Against All Odds. Um, so yeah, this is just a spoiler card. So the first thing I'm seeing here is one of the collectible things that they did last year, which I'm not a fan of. But these are the Lord of the Ring um, bowls things that they loved doing um, last year. And a lot of people really enjoyed them. So they decided to continue making more of these. This year, um, I'm not a fan of these, um, uh, just because I don't really care about Lord of the Rings. Um, I have no interest in ever watching it or reading that series. So, yeah, but I'm going to use the other three, I think, that I own. There's four out there, but I only own three of them, and I'm not a fan of them. They're all kind of ugly, in my opinion. So, here is this month's Lord of the Ring bowl, I guess. And actually, this one isn't that ugly. This one's actually kind of cute. Kind of. Uh, I still think it's a little ugly. Um, so that's how that one looks like. Um, it's fine, I guess. And then it has that inside the bowl there. Um, so yeah, I think I might just sell these all together as a bundle eventually. Um, I don't know. Because I don't use them since I don't like them. Um... So yeah, I'm probably gonna just sell these. Okay, so the next item we have here is like a little tin that you use to keep things in. So this is um, the little tin right here, and this is inspired by the girl who saw beneath the sky or the sea. I mean, I like the design of this. This is really really cute. Um, and then on the bottom, it just says owl crate there. Let's go. Yeah, it just you open it, and that's how that looks like. Um, it has a quote inside that says, "Stories are both an escape from the truth of the world and the only way to see them clearly." And then this, it comes out, so you you have more storage at the bottom of the tin there. So that's really cool. Um, I probably won't get any use out of this either. I just don't really see myself using this and then on the on the front here it says sometimes only through a story can can a truth be um heard so yeah this is inspired by the girl who fell beneath the sea this is a bookmark tent to them it's the perfect place to hold your pretty bookmark perfect for any bookworm that needs a space to organize or start a collection and was gorgeously designed by Saray dot art. Um, so yeah, I like the um the art that's on it, but I won't use this, especially for bookmarks. Um, I I have these book pots that I get from Little Crate, and I like putting my bookmarks in there, just so I can see them. So I don't know. Um, probably just gonna get rid of this. Um, give it to someone else too, just cause I won't be getting any use out of it. But it does look very pretty. So at least it looks nice. Uh, so the next thing we have here is our monthly treasure tombs pin that our crate um is doing this year, and I love these um, enamel pins. They're very very cute. Um, so yeah, so here is this month's um, enamel pin, and that is open. So I love this one. This one is so pretty, and this one is um, inspired by We Hunt the Flames. Uh, this is absolutely gorgeous, and I really like it. Um, and it's done by um, No One Designs. They did a great job with this. I love these. These are very pretty, so I'm very happy with that. Okay, so the next thing we have is this little thing here, which um, is a wax seal kit inspired by Dance of Thieves, um, designed by Michelle Gray. So... I already have a set, and I think I got it from a little crate, I think. Um, and I haven't used it, so I probably won't be using this one either. But I do think um, these things are pretty cool. 
So this one seems to be like a book with some flowers coming out of the book. So it is very pretty. And then the wax seal is red. So there's that. Um, these are really cool, but I just, I don't have a need to ever use them. And so, yeah, but I do think it's pretty cool, but I just don't use them. But I do like the idea of it. So there's that. Okay. And then we have um, transparent bookmarks. Um, so that's really interesting. And these were designed by Anne Guy and Art. Probably pronounced that really wrong. This packaging is pretty cute. So let's go ahead and take these out. So yeah, they're just bookmarks. And I love receiving bookmarks. Um, so they are transparent. So these are probably going to be hard to show you guys. But I'm going to try my best to show these off completely. Um, probably just insert another video clip on top of this one where you can see them a lot better. Um, probably you guys will be seeing these in front of a book. Um, so yeah, these are all very, very beautifully designed. I love them quite a bit. They're very, very pretty. Um, and these are... I'm trying to see what they're inspired by right here. Okay. So these are inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess, Sith Crimson Cranes, and a Magic Steep in Poison. So yeah, that's a that's really cool. And I wouldn't mind getting wouldn't mind getting more of these because I do like them quite a bit. So yeah, there's that. And then we have the actual book here. And it's kind of hard to get out. It's like the, the bottom here. Yeah. So here it is. This month's book is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross here. So they completely redesigned it. Um, so yeah, I'm being, I don't like the US cover, so, but I love the UK cover, but I know a lot of people do not like the UK cover because they have character art on front of them, but I love character art, so. Yeah, okay, so my first thing, this feels really interesting. The dust jackets feel kind of cheaper made. I don't know, it feels like almost like a little thicker than regular paper, but yeah. Anyways, so here is the cover there. I do like this redesign cover. It is very, very pretty. Um, yeah, I do like it. It actually looks pretty nice. Uh, and then we have the spine right there. And then we have the back cover and it says, I want your hand to be in mine no matter what comes. So that's very pretty. And then we have the first ever um, stencil edges from um, Owl Crate. And I do think they look beautiful. I do like them quite a bit. Um, yeah, they're very pretty. I love the pink that they went with. Um, and I, I like it. I think it's really, really nice. So let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket here. So we do have reversible, um, we have artwork on the reversible side here. And I think it looks really, really nice. I like the artwork. Um, and again, I would just wish they um, put the title here and the title on the spine. So, like we, so you can actually use it. Because I prefer this because I like character artwork um, more than just like an item in front of the book cover. But that's just me. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I personally do. And then on the naked hardback here, um, in some nice foil, we have even in the silence, I hope you will find the words you need to share. And then on the back, it says the third outlet made especially for DEW. So there's that. I feel like this month, the foiling is more on the simpler side that they normally do, but it does look pretty nice. And then we have some nice end papers there they're just like a pattern they went with this month and then, and then they're, they're the same on the back there okay and then we have an author's digital i mean no it's not digital um it's like hand sign um signature there and then we have the dear reader uh, from the author so that's really nice and really, really cool and yeah that is this month's book um yeah, that's really nice, and I'm really happy that our crate finally did a stencil edge book. But oh, it also does come with a ribbon bookmark there. I don't know if you guys were able to see that when I showed it, but it does come with a ribbon bookmark. 
Um, so that's really nice. Um, but it kind of sucks because they were only able to do it for this month because then next month, the June box and I'm pretty sure the July one, they're not going to have stencil edges. They're just going to go back to regular edges, just plain, nothing fancy on them, which is very disappointing considering the past two months they did gilded edges and they were able to do stencil edges on these and then they're just going to go back to no fancy edges. It just feels like kind of disappointing. Um, I have been considering canceling a lot of subscription boxes just because I should honestly just be saving money. And I like, especially with Fairloot and Illumicrate, um, I haven't been enjoying their items. I'm always disappointed. Um, and this month with Outcrate, it was just okay. I know a lot of people will like a lot of these stuff, but like, honestly, I will probably only use the transparent bookmarks and then the number pen they do everything once. I just collect them and just keep them in a storage box. And then everything else, I, um, I just won't get any use out of. So I might be canceling a bit of subscription boxes in a couple of months. We'll see. Um, but I think our crate will probably will go just because um, I do like them. But I just kind of wish they were able to do stencil edges more often. Like this is the first time they've done it. And then they won't be doing it for, I don't know, when's the next time they will do it again. But yeah. Anyways, let me know your thoughts of um, the book that they did. I think it came out really nice and beautiful. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the items. I know a lot of people, will, like I said, will enjoy them. I just me. I just don't have a need for a lot of the crap that the subscription boxes include. Um, but let me know your thoughts of the items. Um, so yeah, uh, make sure to like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.